Right, we're on. Short game. So the sun's out. It's lovely, but it's actually about to rain. Don't be put off by that. So talking short game, we're going to talk about how my left-handed short game has improved my right-handed short game. How does that work? I can't even play golf left-handed, yet it's made my right-handed short game even better. I say even better. It wasn't great to begin with. You can learn from this. This is going to be an important one, very, very interesting one as to how we can neutralise our short game. Little pitch shots, little tricky ones, uphill, over bunkers. It's going to become so easy. Do we add loft? Nope. Do we open the face? Nope. Do we change our grip? Nope. What do we do? Well, just watch this video and you'll find out. So lately I've been working in short game. And as you probably know, I've adopted left-handed golf as well. Go in. Oh, I've adopted left-handed golf. Now, that has translated back into my right-handed game. When I've been playing left-handed, it's been... It's been a real eye-opener how simple the golf game actually is. When it comes to short game like this, left-handed, I have no control to open the face, to slice under it, to try and apply spin. So it's a very, very neutral action. And this neutral action is very simple. A toe up to the sky, toe up to the sky. No opening of the face, no trying to cut across. It's just been a very simple action because left-handed, for me, it's hard to try and manipulate. Let me show you. If I take my self round here, left-handed. Now it's very hard for me to open the face. That is all I have. It's so neutral, but it's perfectly on plane. Every time the toe goes to the sky, toe goes to the sky. Step on, toe to the sky, toe to the sky. Now I get some serious action on that golf ball left-handed because the club's working the way it's designed to work. I've not manipulated it, I've not added loft, I've not tried to use bounce that's not there. I've just gone straight back, straight through, nice and neutral, and you can see how it just pops the ball up in the air. I had lots of elevation there. If I had a bunker to go over, for example, I wouldn't have to open the face. If I use the club correctly, just turning to toe to the sky, toe to the sky, left or right-handed, nice neutral, I can pop the ball up in there. So of course that got me thinking, why is my short game right-handed not as effective as it is left-handed? I've only been playing left-handed for three or four weeks, but my short game's actually quite good. I try too hard right-handed. I try and add too much loft. I try and open the face too much. I try and cut across. I try and apply spin when there's absolutely no need. I need to neutralize that. So I put my gem onto my golf club, the gem. I'll leave a link below in the description. There's also a promo code there if you want to get yourself a gem. I thoroughly recommend it. When I take the club back, there's the toe up position, toe to the sky. If I take my hands off the golf club, the gem balances that and sets you there. Through impact, toe to the sky again. Again, take my hands off, toe to sky. The gem balances the club there. So I refined my right-handed action toe to sky, toe to sky, now the gem does it for me, but it's so simple, isn't that just a mini golf swing? Much more relative to my left-handed emotion, natural, easy release, I did lots of work with that, and then I step back on now, without the gem on, recreate that motion and pop it up, and every time it's pure. There's no need to try and open, re-grip, slice it through this way to get that height. My left-handed action proved that to me. It was a real eye-opener, to be honest with you. I mean, I struggled playing golf left-handed, but the short game was okay. Strange. So refining that, getting the gem on my golf club, doing it right-handed, what a difference. So nothing's done. I've not opened the face. I'm not trying to add loft here. I'm not rolling this open to add loft to turn through. I'm not thinking about Jason Day's dead arms and lots of body rotation. I'm just thinking, how does it play? How does it work left-handed? Well, left-handed, that is all I can do. That is the only skill I have. Reverse that to right-handed, and that is the only skill I have. Use that skill. I mean, it's so simple, isn't it? Isn't that so easy? Again, just there. There, 
Now there's lots of loft on there, they're checking up, there's lots of loft on there. I don't have to add loft, this has got 54 degrees. Turn, turn, toe to sky, toe to sky. They go left handed again to feel the left handed pops up a little bit more. There we go, again, same action. That's all it is. Turn over to right hand. The same action. Same thing's happening. Gem is going to encourage or ensure or instill the fact that I do it correctly because it's set itself. Then of course another way round, follow through, it's set itself. Feel, 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 feel. Step on, club behind, feel. Oh, it's so good, look at it bouncing about. <laughs> so here we go now, we have the bunker to go over. Take my club with my gem. Toe set, toe set, toe set, toe set. Effortless, effortless power. The gem's doing the job for me. There's no manipulation. No loft being added, no face opened. Step up behind the ball, 54 degrees of loft. Create the same motion, left handed. Up it pops. Pretty good. Same again, no loft added. Up, look, up it goes. It's, just, it's a simple action. Let's try this left handed. And this is obviously, this is, this is pushing my luck here. And if I'm left handed and I've left myself here, or right handed, that's a big deal. But we don't freak out, we just go back and through. No manipulation. Let it happen. Again. Up it goes. Over it pops. Same again. Just to the gem we do, gem puts me there, left handed, I'm there naturally because I don't have any other ability to try and manufacture something. So this left-handed shot we're seeing now has helped me with my right-handed shot game. Oh, not to do that though, but to do that. I'm always going to get a funky left-hander in there though. Eh? <laughs> Come on, I've only been golfing left-handed for four weeks. Surely you can let me off with that. So I think it's really interesting how playing golf left-handed has helped my right-handed short game. I've been playing right-handed short game for 40 years, maybe? Oof, that hurts. But playing left-handed has neutralized it. Using the gem has neutralized it. Um, not everyone can play left-handed. Guaranteed, I mean, granted, it's very, very hard to do. I've been really enjoying the journey so far. Um, if you can't do the left-handed or create that action, the gem will do it for you. It'll put you into the natural position. There's no manipulation. The toe goes to the sky, the club face squares up. It releases correctly back to toe to sky. There's no loft added. That was 54 degrees over that bunker. That was a hard shot. I never opened the face. I never took a lob wedge. I just took my 54 degree, played the shot, and I'm a quite a happy lad.